Alright, so we are back at the dock and we are going to do a little catch and cook with the mutton I shot. I'll go ahead and uh, roll on those clips right now. So after shooting that mutton and gutting it and scaling it and gilling it and heading it, it ended up looking something like this, all right? Under this crab, there's the mutton, all right? Um, we are going to take it up to the room and I will show you guys how to cook a whole size mutton and it is going to be amazing, guaranteed. All right, so we're gonna do the catch and cook with the mutton snapper I got. Mutton's over there in the five gallon bucket. Got all the ingredients. Got a, basically a little baking pan. I'm gonna throw it in the grill. I layered it with some aluminum foil, so it's uh, easy cleanup. Got a bunch of veggies. Got the, basically a bunch of everything. Have zucchini, because that's all we had in the fridge. And have some onion, some jalapeno, bell peppers, some red, uh, yellow and green bell peppers like I said jalapeno we have some but or um, we have some lime I'm gonna have some butter out here and some garlic and that is basically gonna be everything we need to cook this bad boy up I'm gonna have Damon over there look at that shirt we are twinning also yeah we're twinning he's gonna go ahead and video us boom sits on the pan this court we got the bubble blade finally all right, so you basically want to make little incisions, maybe about a quarter inch deep. You're going to do this to both sides. You're going to do some cuts from butter, because this is all going to go inside. So you're going to put that inside each cut? Yeah. Nice. And too much butter. There's no such thing as too much butter. Okay. Right, well, you just stick it inside of each cut. Oh, this would be awesome. Careful the spines, because they will get you. Stab me inside of my fingernail. All right, we'll flip this. And also a popular thing that a lot of people do is they stuff the head so you can stuff the cavity in here with stuff, but we're not gonna do that. And on top of this, I'm gonna put the garlic, the minced garlic. And you wanna do probably a half a stick of butter, at least. I don't want to get yelled at. So just smear the minced garlic inside. All right. 
So now that we got that Everglades seasoning, we're gonna go ahead and lather it up. Don't be too shy on it. Put one side, you go ahead and sprinkle the other. Sprinkle inside the cabin there. Probably put some butter inside of here. Nice, nice. Um, all right, and then next thing, all we have, like I said, we got some jalapenos, a bunch of random things. Zucchini's gonna take longer, so we wanna put that down on the pan. All right, probably first, and then we'll put everything else on top of it. You just surround the fish with this stuff. You can put it inside. Can you make me eat? Can I eat it now? <laughs> uh, I'll put it on top usually. I guess we can throw it in there now. Jalapeno. We love jalapenos. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that on top. We'll also sprinkle. I'll show you in a second. We're probably going to need more butter because that was only about a quarter of butter, a quarter stick of butter. We'll do a little catch and cook on the crab too. We gotta do that. That's like a first. Squeeze the lime juice all over the fish. And we'll go ahead and give it another, we'll make sure we get some butter with the uh, with the veggies because they're gonna, we don't want them to stick to the pan. So we'll just put butter on top and the butter will seep down through the veggies into the bottom of the tray. And then we'll also go ahead and put some butter on top of the veggies. We're gonna finish everything off, season everything with Everglades. And everything will just melt together inside of the grill and just be magical and delicious all together. That looks like some kind of pristine cook did that, but no, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we have a big enough grill. Slide that bad boy on. And also the fins. You can eat the fins. They're gonna be delicious. Woo! Alright, so we are going to do a little pre pre-inspection on what we got going on so far. So we'll take a look. Oof, that is hot. See everything is just sizzling. Sizzling up. So this mutton is almost done. We have been letting it, what do you think, probably 20 minutes? A way you can tell, Sounds see how right. the, the uh, skin is kind of peeled apart. Probably go to the thicker part. You can kind of peel it apart. It's almost cooked all the way through, so this is probably about a good time for me to shut it off. And it'll still cook. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it. And it's still gonna cook a little bit, and um, even though it's like, some parts aren't done, even though the everything is shut off, all the hot meat around it will go ahead and cook everything through. The veggies are definitely done, so uh, I'll go ahead and let it sit there probably maybe for another five minutes, and then we will call it quits and pull it off there and enjoy. Basically let it sit here for a while. It's definitely done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy off. Just let it sit. Remember, it sits and Oh, it's cooks. pretty. It's gonna be good. Come on in. Go ahead, and we will let you know how it is once we sit down to eat. What we got is the aftermath of the mutton madness. The whole cooker. Just throw it in the middle of the table and just let everybody dig in. All right, so a little taste test. What do you think, Doc? Beautiful. Ridiculous. Jason? Melts in your mouth. Yeah, oh yeah. Flakes right out. Look at that. Oh my god, the veggies are delicious. Yeah, the veggies just soak up all the butter and the fish. And what do you think? Uh, I, the let fish. Me, let me try it's great, man. The veggies are delicious too. Wow, it's fed, <clears throat> fantastic. It's tender. Very good. I'm trying to find a jalapeno. Up There's fat on the skin like a red snapper. If you've ever had that, it's the same thing. Tastes like a. It's like chicken. It's like the chicken skin. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me for another catch and cook. These guys are digging in. I'm about to dig in myself, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.
All right, so another thing you can do with this whole cooked mutton is the fins actually get all crispy and they turn into basically a potato chip. So this is actually my first time trying this, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna give it a try. Thank you, Jack. Tastes like potato chip. <laughs> oh, it's good, it's crunchy. Just like a chip. It's like a grilled chip. Not gonna lie. 